lovelies, my name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Hilarity. I am just making a video because I really freaking miss you guys. So I would love to be able to give you guys updates, but nothing has happened. I went and got my CT scan, it cost $500 out of pocket. Um, and they were supposed to call within a week and I haven't heard yet so I have no idea but as soon as they do I will make an appointment to get the dental implant if you don't know and you're just watching this and kind of confused this tooth right here is fake it, they, I had to have one of my teeth removed because I had this huge infection that made my whole face go up but um I don't know my sleep schedule has been so messed up I've been so tired lately which is really weird because I don't really sleep that often or be tired um I've just been kind of like playing games and talking to people and trying to get my mind off things I've been crocheting a lot um this is the second prayer shawl that I made um because the one of our family friends the man that lives across the street from us he passed away and he's younger than my dad and so it was really sad and just really scary because he was so young i think he was around like 60. um and it was just really sudden and um so i made a prayer shawl for his wife and i don't know i haven't seen her or talked to her or anything because I'm not the one that you need to go to in time of crisis when someone passes away. Like, unless you want someone to hysterically cry with you, then that's me. But, um, I'm not the good, like, strong, unless it's for my parents, I'm not the good, like, strong, stay strong person. Like, I just don't deal with death. Like, I just lose it. Um, so my mom gave it to her and everything, but... And then on Saturday, I didn't do a churchy talk because um, my mom and I didn't go. I woke up at 4 p.m. and um, went back to sleep. It's so weird. I don't know what's going on. I never do that. Um, and my mom completely forgot that it was Saturday. So it's just weird when you don't work and your parents, you know, the people you live with are retired. So it's like every day is like not really a day. Like it doesn't really matter. Um, so we just completely forgot, um, which sucks. I am going to watch it online. And I'm going to start linking them down below. I never even thought of that, that you guys can watch the messages, um, when I do Churchy Talk because they, Edgewater puts them online. So this week was leverage, so I just have to listen to it and stay awake. Oh gosh. Um, but it wasn't my pastor again this week. Um, I think next week we'll be back to Pastor Dan, but other than that, I don't really know what to say. I just have been like, I guess depressed, um, but like the normal people kind of depressed. Like I've just been like eating a bunch and not feeling real great about myself and, um, I ha the past couple days I haven't felt really awful like fibro symptoms so that's been really good but I don't know I just my allergies are awful there's just always something I guess like my body's just always like well if we're not gonna have fibro symptoms we might as well freaking have a hissy fit and have a huge allergic reaction to unknown things so I don't know, but I really miss you guys. I've been watching a lot of movies. I've been watching shows. Um, I really, really need your guys' input. Like, I really don't know what kind of videos to do. And um, it was really funny because when I did my Life with Chronic Pain, which is I vlogged every single day for an entire year, I always used to say there was no way I could do this without God because I haven't committed to do something every single day of my life like forever I don't even brush my teeth every single day like sometimes I forget you know um and then sometimes I was like maybe I'm just saying that though and I really am just feeling like obligated to do it or something or I'm like getting the strength to do it but now that I'm done with the project I really honestly like it takes all of my energy to try to even think of what to do I get really self-conscious I don't know what's 
to talk to you guys about to do I'm like should I just do ones that I put makeup on and edit and I don't know or do I, you guys like these videos where I just chit chat and talk about whatever I want and uh, um, do you guys want where I just talk about like funny stuff or I talk about shows that I like um, I do tons of different things do you guys want to learn how to crochet this prayer shawl it's really freaking easy anybody can learn how to do it you just need yarn and a crochet needle um, I mean there's so many things I can show you guys to do or show you but I really don't know what I what you guys want. I really want to do what you guys want to do. I know when I hit 300 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. That's just a given because I just love freaking doing that. And I have awesome loot right now. Um, other than that, I don't I don't know what videos to make for you guys. It's you know usually as a YouTuber, I don't know if you guys would just know this, but you can go through and look and see what your most popular videos are and blah 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 but like you guys are all over the place with these things like um but I think most of the ones you guys like are just me talking for a really long period of time and um just saying whatever like I don't plan what I'm gonna say when I do these ones um the unedited just me chit chatting so um, I wish I could. I watch Jen's videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, her videos are so good. I want to be like that. But, um, but that's Jen and this is me. So that's what makes us special is we're different. Um, but no, it's just really cool. But if I do edited videos, you have no idea how many videos right now I have on my computer in a folder that say need to be edited. There's like 20 videos probably not exaggerating 20 videos in there so that's not working out so well so these videos that I'm putting out every once in a while I think maybe I should do more often but I don't know if you guys would like that like would you guys unsubscribe or I don't know I just I'm a very confused person right now and you know when you don't know what to do and you get let your mind just kind of wander especially being codependent like I want to do this channel for me because that's how it started but I also want to do stuff that you guys like like I don't want to just be sitting here talking to myself in my room by myself like I talk to you, this camera because somebody's listening to it at some point um so I don't know I just want to do stuff that you guys want to hear want to talk about so if you guys would comment what you guys really like um, and probably like narrow it to like two or three things because you guys are always so sweet and right like I like your obsessions video I like your rambling videos I like it. you know like you name like every single video type I do and I'm like that's not helpful I need to like narrow it down um, or anything new that you guys want to do or anything you guys want to know about me I know I want to do a question and answer video again, but I don't exactly know how to do that again. Because the last one was with a giveaway, so you had tons of people put questions in. I guess maybe the next video I do, I'll ask for you guys to leave questions as comments or something like that. Because um, there's like a lot more to me, guys, than... You know, just being that vibro girl that says weird things and talks a lot about nothing but yet seems entertaining. And her dog makes like little forts behind her usually. She is like not making forts. She is passed out asleep. Um, and I'm speaking about Bella, my dog, <laughs> if you don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess... Yeah, I haven't been feeling awful, so it's not, that's good. I mean, yay, but I haven't been feeling great either. I think I'm, I think I'm depressed. I mean, it's weird because, like, I went through a period where it was just like, I don't care that I don't, ha not, I, that my tooth is gone because at least I'm not in that horrific pain and misery and just trauma and it was so awful, like, I cannot even explain to you. Like, I 
was so I that was like the closest I felt to death like I didn't drink for three days like I was good like done die <laughs> um so I went through a period of just being like you just need to be thankful but now I've kind of like reverted back to like I don't feel myself and I don't really want to go out in public and like it's really hard for me to talk. Like, it's hard for me to talk with it in, and it's hard for me to talk without. But it's a lot easier to talk without. But I don't feel comfortable just, like, walking around without it. And I know I should, and people have been so sweet. Like, they're, you know, just like, oh, you look so cute without your tooth. Like, you look like a little kid and things like that. But, um, and I know that. I'm not like, oh, my God, I'm ugly. I'm hideous. I'm like, ugh. But it's just like you don't feel like yourself. Like I don't feel like putting makeup on like because my freaking lipstick gets all over this fake tooth and like won't come off of it. And I don't want to like really go out to eat because like luckily with Leanne last time I just like took it out. But like that's kind of gross to do with like just people you don't necessarily know that well or even like I don't know. I, I, it grossed me out. So it's like you know. For people that don't, like, it's not their, like, denture thing. Like, it's even grosser, but I don't know. So, I think that has to do with it and just, you know, missing my friends a lot. And I really, really, really am, like, terrified to drive back to North Carolina. And I think it has to do with, you know, the traumatic experience of driving here. Um... But that is something that's on my mind, like, constantly. Because my dad wants to go back a lot earlier than we expected. And, I don't know, it's just really got me, like, really worked up. Because I... It's, it's an awful ride for me, period, because of my fibro. But having gone through like throwing up for 12 straight hours and having my face blow up and having throbbing pain and all of that I had think in my mind in some place in my mind think that that's going to happen again when I drive back um like I think it's just an irrational fear because I mean I know it's going to suck but that's like a given but I think, I think that's what's really got me, like, kind of terrified about it. I mean, like, I didn't, like, look forward to it before, but I, I would dread it, you know. But not, I wasn't scared of it, and I'm scared of it. Like, I'm like, well, maybe I could just live here and, like, not drive back. And, you know, so I think that's part of it. But I think once things start going, like, I actually have an appointment to get the dental implant because it's really frustrating and I know a lot of you understand this is like I'm healed like I'm healthy I feel good my my gums and my mouth and the place where they took the tooth out and all of the scarring here and like this all none of this hurts anymore it's all healed and now that everything's healed and I went through the whole healing process which is not fun I have to go through it all over again Obviously, it's not going to be as traumatic because I don't have this, like, huge infection and, like, but I don't know how my body's going to react. I could, I could go for the surgery and then start throwing up nonstop when I get done because of the pain or whatever. Like, it could happen again, but I know it's not going to be as awful because there's not going to be that abscess and that huge infection, but um, I'm still going to have to go through this whole healing process again, and it's just... <sighs> it's just exhausting to think about. I th I th I'm just anxious to, like, start it already. Like, I want to get it done and, like, heal again so I can, like, be healed. And it's just a really long process because I went through, you know, getting it, healing. Normally, what they would do if they had to take a tooth out, they would take the tooth out and put the dental implant in. So you're good, you heal, like, all at once. But since I had that huge abscess and the infection, they couldn't do it at that time. So this has been a long process. And then the oral surgeon that I go to, he doesn't do like fake teeth and stuff like that. So after that, I have to go to a dentist and get the fake tooth. 
and after three months I have to heal for three months and make sure that it's really stable because the tooth that they took out was shifting so there is space in my um, there's like a hole where my tooth was and uh, so I don't know it's just really scary I just honestly I just I don't even think like oh my gosh it's gonna hurt like I don't think about stuff like that I just want to get the appointment and get going like I want to get it done so that I can suffer and heal and like just get it done with it's just like this waiting game that really depresses me like I kind of like stay in my room and like treat myself as like insulated I call it a cocoon because any sort of extra stimulation my anxiety is just like through the roof so I just kind of try to keep my anxiety just really calm like dark room watching movies like just Bella and I very little contact with other people um it's not isolation because I well how do I explain it it's not isolation because like I can just walk out and talk to my parents or you know I went out with Leanne or whatever but it's it's a coping mechanism for me. It's not something that I do and not think about. I actively do it and I actively do it because I know I'm in a position where I can have panic attack after panic attack after panic attack. Um, so as soon as I get that call, then I will be getting it and then I can finally heal. Then I can go to the dentist and get a tooth and hopefully look like I did before and be able to talk normally and eat normally who knows I don't know how that's gonna work out either my body is a freaking mystery so I have no idea Bella just woke up though come say hi Bella we haven't seen her so long yeah then we haven't seen her so long oh she's a tiny baby oh are you tired are you, are you exhausted oh no um, yeah, so Bella's been enjoying it though because she loves just hanging out in the room and getting belly scratches and all that kind of stuff. She's exhausted. <laughs> See, that's the only time a chihuahua has little eyes is when they're tired. Um, but anyways, I guess that's the update and me kind of working through things. Um, I mean, I'm in a good place. I'm not... Depr uh, how is it like uh, depression like the mental illness that I have is different than feeling depressed if that makes any sense whatsoever like when I always want to say normal people but people without the mental illness of depression feel depressed at times that's what I'm experiencing I'm not I don't think I'm experiencing depression like mental illness depression because I can still laugh and have fun and you know I'm not crying all the time and I just know how that feels of being years and years and years of having that. Hey Bill, can you take another shot? Yeah. You go ahead. You had your time on camera. No, nope, it's not gonna happen. Uh yeah, so that's all good. So it's just frustrating. It's I think that's more of it in the waiting game and just trying to control my anxiety and I'm, I feel very alone here in the sense that my doctors are not here. My dentist is not here. I get very worried about, you know, like talking to my doctor and being like this. I don't know. Should I call her and say like this happened and I had to use like a lot of my painkillers because um, the doctors wanted to um, prescribe me painkillers. but I had just gotten my painkillers. So I had to use my own painkillers for my fibro for my tooth and I don't have refills on those type of things like so I don't know how that's gonna work out and like if I'm gonna have to see a doctor here it's just it goes on and on and on and it's just like how can one stupid tooth do all of this and at some point I will I, I keep telling you this because I have to actually sit down and look at how much I spent on just this one tooth because all four of these teeth are capped so that's not even I won't even include the, the cost of the three other ones because the three other ones 
have been veneered and capped and I've had two other root canals other than just this one. So that would be, I mean, we're getting into the tens of thousands. Um, but I will just tell you that one tooth, like I will add it up and see um, an estimate of how much this is costing us. But thank goodness, again, they covered the hospital. So if they hadn't done that, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what I would have done. Because uh, if you do not have to go to the hospital, unless you have a life-threatening thing, do not go to the hospital. It is so freaking expensive. Like, just being admitted, not admitted, like, just being seen at the hospital is, like, thousands of dollars. Um, I mean, if you guys have health insurance and stuff like that, you don't have to worry about it. But taxpayers pay for that. So if you don't have life-threatening things, do not go to, go to urgent care or see your doctor or whatever. But um, this was a situation that was life-threatening and I had to go. So thank goodness they covered it. But all this other stuff, like, it's not life-threatening that I don't have a tooth. But for me as a person, I want to have a tooth. <laughs> um... Or, I mean, a bridge or a denture that, like, actually fits. Like, I mean, something is better than nothing. So, well, I feel better. On the, in the comments down below, please let me know. Again, I'm just going to recap. Please let me know what kind of videos you guys like to see. And um, also let me know how you're doing. Give me a little bit of update of what you're doing. I haven't talked to you guys in a really long time. I miss your comments. They were my sunshine every day. So, um, yeah, just give me a little update of how even you're feeling today or what's been going on lately. So, I love you guys, and I hope you're having a pain for your free day. Um, Bella and I are trying to, and 